Hello, welcome to another one of our product review and unboxing videos and today we're going to, look at, going to be looking at an appliance stand and it's made by a company called Topway. It's purchased from Amazon, it's this one here. It's Topway washing machine, fridge stand, trolley double wheel, heavy duty, crane plated steel. So it's it's suitable for fridges and freezers and washing machines and what it allows you to do is, well you're probably searching for this already, what it allows you to do is, is to be able to move Appliance is easy to clean behind them, etc. etc. Or if they're in front of a door, etc. Like we have. Um, we have got one of these already on a freezer, and we'll show you that so it gives you an idea of what to expect and what it looks like. It says it can take up to 400 kg capacity. Now, that's important because the thing with like a freezer is you've got all the solid weight in ice and frozen items. It includes four double wheel PVC rubber coat casters, they are very heavy duty, and the it's a telescopic square adjustable from 52 to 72 centimeters or 520 millimeters to 720 millimeters and the plastic is ABS so it can take a knock or two which is what you'd expect so when I say it's adjustable these four corners can extend outwards so we've got a brand new one here and we're going to take a look at it in you the can box see what it, it, it could do on the bottom of a fridge freezer so as you can see here this is on a big fridge freezer and it's extended this bit here. I just want you to get some extra height things if you need it. Yeah. Right, so we've Somewhere. got one already on the freezer. We'll show you in a minute. We're just going to put this one together and show you how easy it is. I will say, before we undo this box, that the first one I got, um, which was, it looked like it had been returned and used from Amazon. So it might just be how they're boxed, I don't know. So anyway, this is a, a brand new one. Yeah, we, we bought, as I said earlier, we, bought, we did buy a second one because they're so uh, they, good. they are very good and obviously we've got a use for them. So, Basically, yeah. we, we, the, the, the thing about buying this is that um, my wife said she, she'd like to clean behind the fridge with these and you need to do that for maintenance because they get all dusty. All, all, all the well. fluff and stuff you get, sort of thing. Right, so I'm going to take these bits out and immediately they look dirty. Yeah. But this is the second one we've had like this. Well, the other one, the first one we had had mark, marks and stuff all over it, all scuffs and scratches. So, but anyway, the reason why we're making this video is if you are thinking about buying one of these, and um, it just shows you what you get included and how easy it is to uh, so you get your four casters, put it together. Hang of screws, you need four in each. So, the casters are quite heavy duty. There's still two two wheels rivet each end, and they've got a stopper to stop it from moving. You, you can try that with your foot. So they are very heavy duty. Right. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna say this to you guys just, now. It is important. You see those marks in that? Yeah. This is exactly the same as I've been on the first one. Additionally, the bars were. Scratch, even a couple of dents in them. Manufacturer, note to you if you're making this, improve your packaging and what you're putting in the box because when you're sending these out, it looks like they're used when somebody gets them because they're wrapping around the box and knocking against each other the parts. Clearly, they're not. Now I know that. We've had two so far, yeah. It's just how you package them, but you need to sort something out. Just put them in some wrapping or something. So how easy is this to put together? Well, you've got four casters and they basically get screwed into there on each corner. So they get, as I said, so they get screwed in here. So and do you need a uh, Phillips uh, yeah, posi, posi, posi yeah. Drop, screwdriver? Yeah. Do you want to do the whole thing, putting it together? Um, can do, yeah. yeah. We can shoot it in two parts if you want. So, so we can show one being put together. So you, if you're watching this, it gives you an idea. And then we'll show it as a whole whole thing. When you first put them in, do corner to corner and put them in loosely. Don't tighten them right up so you can move it around a little bit. In fact, if I'm honest, this will take seconds to do. You don't need a, a uh, battery screwdriver. You can just do it by hand if you... Well, that's one inch. Then what I'll do, I'll just tighten it. You'll notice on the wheels, while I do the others, if Dan showed you, you've got a lockable brake on there as well. Yeah, I showed that earlier, this yeah. um, 
black thing and this this is very strong you, it does it, do, it will not move with this on it's not just a the plastic there's actually a piece of um like a double double metal either end if you look on um, these as well they've got a level spirit level on yeah i personally can't quite see see the point of them but there might be because you know you can't adjust the wheels wheels in height you can uh, the only thing you can adjust is the uh, perhaps legs on the appliance. These things here are for locking. The, when the metal bars go through the holes, uh, they lock them, and there's, there's it, they're even numbered as well. So you can see if you push the bar through to this one, number seven, you can get number seven on each of the corners. So that's helpful. So you can get it perfectly square. And um, the bars. Uh, just watch it because they're a little bit sharp those edges on the end this there. is what see, if you can see on the camera that see this all this here they look used but it's not they're just not and the only reason we're hanging on to this one this time uh, is having used one for a freezer we'll show you in a minute they are a little bit sharp the actually. functionality and build of them compensates for the poor packaging in fact it's a real shame that they go to all this trouble designing this product and uh, let themselves down and ensure that when these are put in the box they're not scratched or anything but what's happened when they're moving around and in transit and being thrown around that's when they're getting damaged i mean most of the, sc the scuffs and scratches you wouldn't notice anyway because it's under an appliance but depending when you've got your appliance which will show you the one on our freezer if the front of this plastic was sc sc scratched and scuffed with black marks and you like to keep your home nice, everything nice and clean and you know, like you like a nice home sort of thing, then obviously you don't want stuff that's mud. If it's supposed if it's brand new, it's supposed to be brand new. And that's the, the idea of it. climate we're in, if you think something else has handled it, you don't know whether it's uh, been washed down properly. That's just why I'm talking about leaving these loose so you can maneuver this. Yeah, so you can't as as you said earlier, you can't tie them up too too much, so would you get problems with uh, that one seems a bit off, doesn't it? Yeah, just a bit. You know why that is, don't you? If I'm honest, I put it in the wrong hole. Oh, did you? Oh, fair just be, yeah, yeah, that's me talking. See, we've, even, we've put one of these together already. We just put that in the wrong hole, so. I mean, it does happen. But that's not taking you long. You just need to tighten that up. That yeah, one I'm just going to position this one in. But these are heavy duty. Um, I can see occasionally you might need, but they don't get moved that often. And the plastic's got these bits here, so you know it's all reinforced as well. Yeah, it's a strong bit of kit. Yeah. Okay, so that, that is basically it. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure these are open. If you look in there, it brings something in. Yeah, it's what I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about that a so, minute ago, actually. So they need to be facing outwards yeah. towards the edges. There's one on this one that needs to do as well, actually. They're everywhere. Yeah, they need to be faced outwards because they go, yeah, they go in two on each yeah. thingy would jig. There we go. So like this one here, just face them outwards. Right. Now, these are different sizes. There's long ones and thin ones. And basically all I did with the other one was pushed it in there like that and in there like that. That's a short one, and then I went to the other end. So I knew I basically got these at the ends, pushed it in. Then I've got my longer ones, pushed them both in together, and basically brought this up to that. There. slides in uh, but there is a, if you turn it upside down there is um number markings on the inside so see there like that's on number two you go on this one and you'd move this one over and put that on number two as well look see yeah. they and they and then you could then just lock it off so and that is that is secured so that is in there really well these like are that. really robust just a little top tip you know your legs under your your uh, washing machine or your wheels make sure they are there and 
This is what I did to measure mine up in the fridge. Oh, I don't know if we've locked anything down here. No, I haven't, no. Oh, I've done that. So leave these things unlocked. So I thought, right, that's my width. measured up there and that would be about right you, you probably want to move in a bit you don't want your door you can have your door hanging over if you want it's up to you and that's how I measured mine up literally like that it's easy and then when you've got your measurements in just lock it off so or alternatively It doesn't really give a lot of instructions, so that's how I did it. So, okay, right. So, as I say, thanks if you if you're still watching. Thanks for watching. Um, this is still assembled, and we'll fit that on that in due course. This is a unit already on a freezer. Um, so that's what that looks like. And one of the benefits with this unit, this is actually this is actually made a bit big, too big for it, but it doesn't matter. You, you know, it can be adjusted. Well, I've done it so it covers the door. That's all. Yeah. So if, yeah. So the benefit of fit with this is it actually brings it off the floor and when you're accessing a full height freezer like that it, it kind of makes it a bit easy to get the bits out. So these are the wheels of the, the locking on. All I've done is I think I've locked the back. And if you want to move this, see how easy it is to move? So we've got this in front of the door because we don't use this door and we've got a lot of but, space. So if you want to move that around or access somewhere, it's done. It doesn't move anywhere. And so rather than dragging out and scratching the tiles and things, um, it's really, really good product. One other thing I'd say, and I was thinking about this, is that if you're in the process of fitting a new kitchen, like we've done here in, in recent months, you've got things like a dishwasher, which is quite, sometimes you need to pull that out. Yeah. If I was fitting my kitchen again, and I knew these were available, not not the cheaper bar things that's supposed to stick on the bottom, but something like this. Yeah, small heavy duty, yeah. I would ensure that my worktop was raised up a little bit more so I could put these under all appliances under the worktop because that way, if somebody wants to clean behind them or you get a leak, you know what it's like, or you think, oh, what's that? It drops or, it, it, or if it fails, you can just bring it out. You just and wheel it out and put yeah. it in. Life would be so much simpler. So. By say raising your worktop another four inches, which wouldn't make that much difference to anybody, you could probably get one of these on. It's just a thought. That's all. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, not it's not. Essential. It's not a not a traditional thing um, to do, but it's just one of those things you could do, I suppose. But if I could stand on that, and I did stand on the other one, see how strong it was. It took my weight. It can take for up to four hundred kg, which is nearly it half is a ton. It is a solid, durable, well designed product that's easy to assemble. Just when you open the box, and to point out, just point that again. This is only our experience. We've only yeah. opened one box and another one, so it might be fine for the rest of them. Yeah, it might to be. To be fair to the manufacturer. Yeah, it might be. But it might not. So but there's two products we've had randomly sent, both the same item. Yeah. All look like they've been used. Yeah. But clearly, without boring people, they've just been knocked about in the box. But I personally, I'm quite particular about things, will overlook that on the basis of the quality and design and functionality of this product. And what it gives the only improvement that I think they could make manufacture if you're looking again make these in black because when you're wheeling them around it shows them muck up it would do if you have them for a few years yeah yeah so, so see if you can do these in black you might sell a few more but that might be the type of um, rubber on this it might be a yeah, very might, might yeah it might just be the type of well, in my opinion, you need to get scientists onto it and get some black ones made up. <laughs> if they can get secure COVID in, in a year, they can sort some wheels out. Can't right, they? anyway, let's wrap this video up. Um, so if you are thinking about buying one of these, we hope our video has helped you. And as you can see, very easy to put together, very well made and just yeah. does the job. So 10 out of 10 for the product, basically. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So um, thanks for watching.